Death after death after death. I don't know if it's just me, but like, does the camera not feel right in multiplayer to you guys? Because nine times out of ten, it just doesn't cooperate. Like right here, I'm facing the screen, I'm running this way, but I'm trying to move the camera the other way around, which led me to getting fucked. You know, then there's other times where I'm on my horse and I'm trying to veer it one way, but it completely does its own thing and decides to go the opposite direction. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's cool. Just jump to your death and kill both of us. All right, well, suicide horses and non-cooperative cameras aside, what's going on, guys? My name is Cynic, and today we're going to be discussing how to improve your aim as well as how Deadeye works in multiplayer and hopefully how to increase your overall Deadeye levels, well, quickly as possible, I should say. Now, obviously, from multiplayer to single player, Deadeye works very differently. In single player, you're able to paint targets as well as it slows down time. So you get that little extra amount of time to paint everybody in your line of sight before you actually fire. Here in multiplayer, you don't have that luxury. You can't slow down time, but there are a few other perks that are actually immediately given to you that'll provide you a huge advantage over other players as soon as you recognize them because it actually took me a, a, a long time to realize that this is what's given to you once you activate Deadeye in multiplayer. But first things first, uh, what I would strongly recommend is here in Red Dead Redemption 2's multiplayer, there's two different versions for looking. There's your look sensitivity without actually aiming. You're able to obviously do a 360, 180, and how fast is dependent on where your look sensitivity bar is. Personally speaking, I would recommend having that maxed out. That way you're able to look and assess your surroundings as quickly quickly as possible. Second, there's your aim sensitivity. This kicks in once you're aiming. This I would recommend a lot lower for a number of reasons. Now, now I'm going to stop right here. I got a little ahead of myself. These two things can be adjusted in your settings and then going to controls. Now, obviously you can adjust them to your own liking. Personally, this is what I recommend doing until you get a feel for the camera and or maybe even helping you improve your overall aim. You can leave it here. Completely up to you. But if you're someone like me and you like to play the showdown series, doing this helps you out in a number of ways. For one, with your overall look sensitivity being a lot higher, like I said, you can assess the situations and turn on people a lot faster. And with your aiming sensitivity a lot lower, you're able to lead your shots a lot easier because obviously your sensitivity is a lot lower you're able to be a lot more precise now going back to deadeye how it works in this again it doesn't slow down time but they do from the gate give you the whole critical shot points like the heat signatures you know where to shoot someone in the heart you know to shoot someone in the head it also allows you to reset in your shots when you fire in this game there's obviously weapon kick the circle gets bigger after a shot you got to wait a second for your gun to be able to realign and for you to center your shot again with Deadeye active, there's no such thing as that. As long as your shot is centered, you can keep firing so long as Deadshot is active and your circle or red dot is right where it needs to be. So that's something I'd recommend you taking advantage of. You don't have to wait for your shot to be recentered because Deadeye already gives you that ability so long as it's active. The other thing I noticed is with certain weapons, you're actually able to fire a lot faster. With Deadeye not active, there's a little bit of a delay. You know, I play a little bit more with the repeater rifle. This is obvious, so you gotta wait for your character to pull that lever after each shot. With Deadeye, it seems to cut the time in half. So not only is your shot always going to be recentered so long as Deadeye is active, but you're also going to have a little bit of a faster fire rate. Be aware of this, be able to take advantage of this, and you're able to get a lot more shots off that are not only faster, but they're much more accurate. Now the next thing, how do you level up your Deadeye much more faster? Well, there's a number of ways, and in case you ever forget, you can always go back to the main menu and check out each individual stat to tell you exactly how to improve them and increase their statistics a lot faster. For Deadeye, basically anything that involves killing, you're going to be leveling up your Deadeye. Whether it be hunting, whether it be shooting enemies, whether it be trick shotting, Anything that involves your weapon is going to be increasing Deadeye. If you have it active while this stuff is going on, it's going to improve it even faster because it's not only going to give you XP towards your general bar for the kill, but it also see on the right hand side a little extra XP for Deadeye. Anyways, that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for this video. That's how you improve your aim in Red Dead Redemption 2's multiplayer as well as increase your Deadeye bar. Do you feel like I missed anything? Any questions, comments, concerns, or even further tweaks to improve your overall aim? Let's talk all things Red Dead Redemption 2's multiplayer down in the comment section below but like always guys my name is cynic thank you all so much for watching as i greatly appreciate it until next time my friends i'll see you all later